So now we're going to look at two new assert methods and the ones we're looking at is is defined and is undefined. Now, um, is defined checks if a particular piece of data either it doesn't exist or it means it exists and it means something. Undefined means a particular um, value exists but it doesn't mean anything significant and you'll hopefully see what I mean here. So the difference between undefined and null is that something that's null literally doesn't exist and that means there's like there's no memory for it or anything and it, it mean like it just doesn't exist and by default anything you create in JavaScript does exist and the only way that you can strip something of its existence I guess is you can say something like um, if you say variable equals null here that basically removes its existence so it doesn't exist and if something doesn't exist it's still defined because um, De uh, defined means it either doesn't exist or it exists and means something. So if it doesn't exist, it's still defined. And okay, so let's look at these methods. So these are all assert methods again. So you'd say try dot um, assert dot, and then we put is defined here. And um, let's put something in that's undefined to make this fail. So if I assign a variable here, that means that this variable exists. But before, because I haven't assigned it to a string or a number or any meaningful data, it means it's not been defined. So I can give it this variable right here. And the second argument is an error message that um, runs if this is defined test has failed. So it means the value we gave was undefined. So we can say something like the given value was undefined. So if we save that and run it now, we can see that the test fails here and it's it, we've got the error message here and it says expected, um, just one second, expected undefined to not equal undefined. So this test is defined, it literally tests if whatever value we give it does not equal undefined. Now, and what I said about null earlier is that null is technically defined because it's defined to mean nothing. So it exi it doesn't exist. So that doesn't matter because is defined. If something is undefined, it means it exists and doesn't mean anything. But null doesn't exist, so it's okay. So if I save that and run it again, yeah, we can see that no error messages come up and the test passes because null actually does. Um, doesn't exist, so it, it's not really relevant for the is defined a test. Um, the way we can make it work with this variable we give it is assign it to some meaningful data so it has been defined. So we can assign it to something like hello, but this can be a number or um, one or something like a number or an object or something like that. So if I run the test again, what you can see is that um, it it's finished the script, so there's no error message, so it doesn't throw an error. So this test passes. So then the other method is called is undefined, and it does the exact opposite. So is undefined um, checks if a given value is equal to undefined, so it, if it hasn't been defined. So if I run it, so I'll change this error message, so I can say something like the given value um, instead of was defined, I'll say something was undefined, I'll say something like is defined. So if I save that now and I run the test, we can see that we have an error here and the error message is here. And it, what it says is it expected this um, variable string hello to equal undefined. So this is undefined method literally checks if the value we give it is equal to undefined, which is a data type in JavaScript. And to make the only way to make this test pass is to give it either literally the data type undefined or if we just remove the meaning from this variable and um, we just give the variable as it is. With an, so it exists, but it doesn't have any meaning. And then we run the test. We can see that it passes because this variable, it exists, but it doesn't have any meaning, which means it's undefined. Um, once again, if we give this null, null doesn't really um, mean undefined because it doesn't exist. It needs to exist and not have meaning to be undefined. So yeah, as you can see, it fails with null because it says null is not undefined because it doesn't exist. So it's 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 not relevant whether it's defined or not. Now um, let's look at the.
challenge now. And again, we do it in unit test.js and assert has already been um, assigned to this variable here. So once again, the goal is to make all of these tests pass. So we look at what it takes in and then we look at which method to apply. So the first one, it takes in null and we want to make it pass. So like I said before, null technically counts as defined or it does it isn't undefined because it does it needs to exist and not have any meaning to be undefined which means it is defined so if we change this method to is defined and then give it null it should pass the second um, test literally takes in undefined and undefined remember means exists and doesn't mean anything and if we um, give it is defined it will fail because undefined is not defined but if we give it um, is undefined here this will pass because we are literally giving undefined to, to a test that checks if it's undefined the final one is a string and if we think about the string it exists and it has meaning therefore it's defined remember defined means it either doesn't exist or it exists and has meaning so we, if we give it to is defined this hello has been defined to a string with these characters, so it, exi it, it exists and has meaning, so it's been defined, so this test should pass. So once we do all of that, we can just copy this live app link and then submit it here, and that should be everything we need for this challenge.